In this video, we'll be looking at installing dependencies for your project using Composer and Packagist, which is a PHP package archive. So the first thing you'll need to do in order to manage dependencies for your projects is download Composer. Now, as stated on Composer's website, this isn't a package manager, it's a dependency manager because it's installed on a per project basis. You can globally install Composer, which will do your tasks that you need to do uh, within your specific project. But then once you're in that project, you'll be able to create specific Composer files, uh, a vendor folder, which we'll be looking at in a moment, and that will manage these dependencies. You can uh, add the dependencies you need to require. In this case, we're just going to be looking at a basic require for the dependency uh, PHP mailer in just an example project. We're not actually doing anything with this. So I've got the folder here open in my text editor. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that we've got Composer installed. I have a terminal open and I'm in the PHP mailer directory, which I'm going to be working in. Let's just run Composer just to make sure that we have this installed globally and you can see that we have. If you don't already have Composer installed, it's fairly easy to do via the instructions on the website for whatever operating system you're working on. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a vendor folder inside of our directory here. Like so. That's going to store, first of all, Composer and second of all, our uh, basically our dependencies via vendors, so from vendors. The next thing we need to do is we need to create a new file and this is going to be what we define as for our requirements. So inside of here we create a JSON um, object and we have this require object here. So if we head over to the packages website, I'm currently on PHP Mailer, and we see here that we need to require in this here. So this is the name of the package, and this is the name of essentially what is the branch that you're taking it from. So if I take this and just paste it into here, I'm now going to save this file in here as composer.json, as this is a JSON object. So once that's done, all we need to do is head over to our command line or terminal and hit Composer Install. And that will go ahead and install all of the dependencies you've listed within your Composer.json file. So now that's done, let's take a look inside of the vendor folder here. You'll notice that a Composer.lock file has also been generated. So inside of Vendor, you can now see we've got Composer, which uh, gives our auto loader, which is really interesting. We'll look at that in a moment. And we've also got the dependency PHP Mailer. So we can start to use this with our project. Now let's say we want to use or, or basically auto load all of the dependencies that our project requires. This is really straightforward. All we need to do is require in Vendor forward slash autoload.php. So if we save this in our main directory, what that's going to do is it's going to require in um, Composer's autoload script, which as you can see, is going to get the auto, is basically going to autoload all of the dependencies that we have installed. So this is really handy if you have quite a few dependencies and just want to include them into your project straight away. So we've looked at installing uh, Composer on a per project basis, creating a vendor folder, creating our Composer.json file which stores our dependencies, and then running the Composer install command to actually install our dependencies. We've also looked at the uh, handy autoload.php file that comes with Composer. 